Alright, hey there, this is Temus Jar, and guess what just hit the market? Helldivers update. But before we go into the video, I would like you to leave a dislike or a like, and make sure to comment your opinion below, because I value everything you say. So, now going to the video. So, update hit. And, oh boy, there's a lot to talk about. I'll start from the basic thing ever. I downloaded it. It took me a while because shit internet, come on. So I looked through the change logs, right? And I was like, what? This is their major update? Are you serious? So here's thoughts. They had a couple of new missions. Well, I mean, this is pretty sad if you ask me. We had so much time during the release and now. There were so many, how to say, major, not major orders, but uh, war bonds, micro updates. You're saying that you waited so long just to throw us a little bit of scrap from the table? This is not right. This is not right in development factor. You are literally nickel and diming us. You're throwing bits so the uh, bottom feeders could just... Uh, eat it up, and people who actually, actually want the game to succeed, you're literally making fun of them. Because whatever you added, the difficulty, the couple of mission variations, is very minuscule. Specifically the mission variation, because you kind of added pretty much what I expected. I was afraid of that, by the way. I thought you are going to break the record, and you're going to make sure I will eat my words. But you didn't do that. Adding into the spawn pool couple of fucking locations that you built in the editor is not what I call a improvement. That is a downgrade because you could have done more of that. Way more. But you didn't because that's, oh, it's hard. There's a small company. There, there's not that, that many developers. No, man, I've done that shit. You can cram that crap as much as you want. There can be variation. It's just all bottoms down to your bureaucracy, you being under Sony's rule, and you're not allowed to do creativity. That's one of the excuses I usually hear. But this time, I don't buy it. You could have done more. And you could have released this during the period, this whole period. This is not a major update. This is downgrade, if you ask me. Because you're fucking treating us as idiots. Uh... Environmental uh, thing, I, I dig that, but I played and it's like every two seconds, every two minutes, there's some kind of environmental effect going on. I mean, it's cool, it adds uh, difficulty, especially those that cover the fog and you don't see shit. I guess that's a gimmick now. Hey guys, go to that planet, you won't see shit. Now, the difficulty level, the super hell dive. Uh, I mean... There you go, Sweats. Now you have more enemies to spawn on you. Have fun. A bigger enemy outposts. Well, when, when I saw the bigger enemy outposts, I see what they did. It's like... I guess it's, it's fun. It's bigger outposts and bigger hives. But it's the same thing still. There's nothing going on in those outposts. Like, there is no, like, impact on them. Like, they're just there. You, here, here, player. Have this fancy building you we slop together during the week before launch and put into the code so you can have it. Right. Uh, new enemy types, always welcoming. But I think that should come in as the game goes on during the weeks. Like, there should be a new enemy every month, if you ask me. Because that's what would make this game a little bit more lively. And, and that would make the campaign map more severe. For example, the more we conquer or the more the enemy conquers... The more enemy variants come out, for example, frost enemies, tro frost trooper enemies that actually are faster in snow because they slide or etc. Bugs that can, you know, uh, speed up due to the environment is more suited for them. But hey, no, no, I'm the stupid idiot who's, you know, everybody hates. But yeah, that's me. Weapon balances. It's like a funny joke by now. Every month or two months, they release a fucking weapon balance, which changes absolutely everything in my opinion in a pve game like this you can balance your fucking gajillion weapons as much as you want but if you really want to fix everything get rid of the fucking 
50,000 shotguns of you have, get rid of all those variations of assault rifle and simply let players decide between couple of specifications of weapons so that you can actually dictate the roles the players take. Which you have right now. Oh, let's fucking release shitload of war bonds and I don't fucking know. Let them figure out the balance. So whatever meta is going to be meta. I mean, the metas are always going to be there as long as you're going to keep adding war bonds. So if you keep fucking, you know, doing the balances, at least make them normal. Don't just buff and debuff weapons as time goes on. Gameplay-wise, uh, I'm going to be honest. I like the uh, update on the UI. I'm not going to shit on this, by the way, for once. I love the UI update. I looked at it, I paid attention to it, and it's informative. It's right there in front of your face, and it's fine if you ask me. I'm glad they fixed the gunship patrols and the other uh, enemy patrols. That's, that's fine. It's actually needed. Because enemies do feel pretty dumb, but then again, it's a life service game. What do you expect? Stratagem balancing. I know I'm coming back to weapons and strategy. This is another thing. Fix the bugs, but don't underpower them constantly. It's annoying when you underpower them. But this time, there's not much underpower, but it's pretty cool that they actually fixed most known bugs with, uh, with Sickle... And, uh, you know, the Devastator, it's cool that they actually fixed those things that kept the fucking thing tumbling down. Now, I want to talk about their general game engine repairs, like the, what they do in the background. But so, this is an interesting one, because I swear to God, I have a feeling that the motherfuckers are literally copy-pasting the patch notes from the previous patches. There's moments... Where they're saying they're fixing aiming, the reticle thingy. Like, how many months they're saying they're fixing the reticle? And they say, well, we can't do that anymore. Oh, we did it. So it feels like they did it again. They copy-pasted, we fixed the reticle. Whew, yeah. And uh, continuing. Ah, performance. They say that they improved a little bit on the engine uh, part with the uh, memory allocation. You know what? I, I think it's um, a very common thing these days when... When people, when developers say that they did something technical, but looking at the game itself, how it works, I don't think that happened. I'm having, you know, a feeling that it's all a little bit of lies, little small lies. Like, you know, Bethesda does its little lies with Todd Howard. I think it's coming into that territory. I swear to God, I'm telling you, it feels like some, some of the goddamn updates are very much copy pasted but uh, what i really welcome is the steam deck graphical update well lucky me i have a buddy who has a steam deck he has hell divers on it he complained that it runs like shit because hell it's a handheld okay it makes sense but now since this update he's actually had a boost in frames which was very welcoming now he can play out of his dumpster that is on wheels and it's pretty fun to play with him during some days of the week. Uh, next thing is um, the fucking kicking and other players joining a group. So if you're gonna fucking penalize me because I do not want the XXX Earth Liberator 13 in my squad because I have normal people coming into my lobby in a couple of minutes and I get penalized for kicking that Earth Liberator guy... Come on, I don't want him. Why the fuck do I get him if I am gonna have a private lobby anyway? Fuck that guy. I think that you you shouldn't be penalized for kicking people out of your squad. Nevertheless, this is what I wanted to talk. I did play the update. Uh, it's I knew, I know I am one of those countries that doesn't have hell divers anymore. Blah blah blah. But I did play it. I, I can't say that the game is in a healthy state. I think it's in a spiral, in a down spiral, and it's most likely going to be dead soon, since it is very shallow as it, it get it becoming more shallow as the time goes on, and I can see the developers don't really like it, love it. I think they're struggling making this, because what I learned when a, somebody has passion and they are 
in all possibility to put effort in something like when they truly love something i'm gonna example you the larian studios like the boulders gate guys the boulders gate 3 that's passion that's love to the game i don't see that this game is loved from the studio side from the developer side i think this game is more like a pet project that blew up and uh, sony is cashing in every single second on it they see that it brings a lot of money but they're afraid to put more money so we can get more content out of it and actually enjoy the game better and have a better quality they, they are afraid of it because the fluctuation in players is insane say whatever you want but the game is dying this was termwish jar remember what i said in the beginning of the video but now i'm giving you a farewell and have a nice rest of the week